Hi, welcome to part three. So what I didn't finish, I didn't realize it was going to take me this long to get through all of this stuff. Um, we're back to this section. This is the Japanese tour DVD, Wake Up, Open Your Eyes. They had Blu-ray and DVD. Um, I had actually planned to rip some of these and give them to subbing groups that I have um, friends in so they could provide this to you. So you could see it. Um, I mentioned in the first video, I think it was, that I've been having trouble viewing the Region 2 DVDs, let alone ripping them. So uh, maybe one day. Uh, oh, this was their first fan meeting um, DVD. They have a second one, Undercover Mission. I don't have that yet. Um, they also have, I forgot to mention in the second video, a Yokohama version of this, um, Japanese one. I don't have that one either. <coughs> this was Rookie King. If you didn't watch it, you can probably still find it on YouTube. It was super funny. Um, it was BTS's first TV show, and they put it on DVD. Um, I think this only has Japanese subtitles on it, but I just thought it was nice to have all of them. Even though I think I do have rips of them somewhere. School Love Affair. Special edition. Um, another hard one to get sealed. The cards. It took me forever to get the, all of the cards. Um, because they, you know, as I mentioned earlier again, it's a limited edition. People either want to trade cards. And then maybe if you're lucky, if they can't trade, um they will sell it, or when they get tired of it, they will sell the extra card. So finally, I got all of them. <clears throat> then we have the 2015 Seasons Greetings. Um, I don't really know what to say about this one. It's got like a calendar and a bunch of stickers. Um, I think this one has stickers. Uh, this one has a book and a DVD, making of DVD. It looks like a card and a poster. That's it. I think this is out of print also. Usually the season's greetings don't stay around for long. Um, you'll see one more item on my shelf. I'm going to come back to that. That's probably going to be the last one that I show you, even though we're almost done. Um, because that is one of my most prized possessions and one of a kind. Um, Sussy, the one that I showed you in the first video with the bracelet. This one has the white bracelet because I, I, as I said, I have both. So this one has the white version. Nothing different except the band is white. Band. Band. And a really pretty magazine. And this came with a um, card, a photo card. You can see these are basically versions of the photo cards here on this page and that one was also a pain to get all of them because you had to buy this special edition box that um, which was limited as it says limited edition and then um, people didn't want to part with the cards at first it's a little bit easier to get them now maybe not all of them but okay so I'm gonna go in a little bit of a different order <sighs> This is the Seasons Greetings 2016. Sorry, I, I forget that it comes out the year before, so I was going to say 2015, even though I just said 2015. Um, I was not completely pleased with these. I don't really know anyone who got these from Korea that didn't get one. It's kind of hard to see, but maybe that's easier. Um, that didn't wasn't damaged actually technically I got this from a friend for Christmas and she said when she received it it was not damaged and she bought it from Korea for me um, and when it got to me <laughs> maybe it's just my post office I don't know 
Um, but actually, I don't really know many people who bought it. And it was shipped over from Korea no matter what site it was. And it wasn't damaged somehow. So I told her it was fine because I figured it was going to end up showing up damaged anyway. But here they are. Um, another paper stand-up thing out of print. Again, um, poster, calendar, poster, poster, calendar, um, calendar, I guess. I never use these. It's just kind of there to look at. Um, it looks like another card and photo book. Um, I did look at it when I got it, but not since. Yeah, photo book and a card oh, and a DVD. <clears throat> Which I guess is just what is standard nowadays. I've never had another group's um, season's greeting, so maybe they have different stuff. And then, summer package. The summer package is signed. Um, this is what I was mentioning in the first video when I showed you my Polaroid. And I said you had to buy like 300 copies of stuff now. Um, when I was the top supporter for the first meet and greet, I bought 20 albums. Had I known I only had to buy another 8 or 9 to be top supporter, I would have done it. But people add albums last minute and you never know. And, and most of that money came out of my own pocket to purchase these. I didn't do the group orders that people do now. Excuse me. <clears throat> So, um, yeah, this, <clears throat> this one, when this came out on M-Wave, I think the top supporter was 300 or 300 something, but, um, anyway, here is the 2015, um, 2014, sorry, summer package. It comes with a button set, which I love, especially when I do cosplays, um, of ones where they have buttons on. When I can't find the actual buttons, I like to substitute the buttons from the different things um, that I have. There's a slogan towel. I don't want to take it out. Sorry. And under there is... This whole thing is coming apart. There's a book under with, with photos in it. <clears throat> and I think... There's a DVD in there. I've forgotten at this point. Um, apparently can't even remember how to put this back in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, yeah. There's that. I should have a DVD. I think most of their packages have a DVD. I just am blanking out right now. Um, I wasn't terribly happy about them signing on the plastic for these. Um, I guess it'd be a pain to open each one of these and sign however many thousands of these they did. Um, but you can kind of see, even though it came that way, part of Jungkook's, um, autograph is wiping off, per se. Yeah. And then I have the 2015 summer package um, when this came out again couldn't pick it up right away and I really didn't think it was going to be limited or sell out that fast because you never know half the time they don't tell you so it has everything except um, the pouch I, I got a good deal on it because it was missing one thing. So if you're selling just the pouch from the Summer Package 2015, um, please message me. I'd like to buy it. Um, a reasonable price only. Um, it came, but she did throw in this, I forget how you got these, um, limited edition fan. Um, you had to pre-order or something um, to get it. So it comes with that. It comes with a pouch. It comes with a book photo book. Um, it comes with stickers, DVD, um, oops, luggage tag, which I don't think I'll ever use, and a bunch of cute 
stickers. I'm not going to show you all of them. Um, again, limited edition, sold out. It's kind of hard to get for cheap now. But there it is. And then we're almost actually done. So this is the... I'm going to start with the first one. The, um, I'm an, I didn't forgot to mention that I am an official army. Um, I have been since the beginning, first year. So I'll show you. Um, this was the army membership kit. The, this is the box that they sent with the stuff in it. <clears throat> um, try to cover my my membership number but you can kind of see my name there and the date term one at the top um, but this is the kit that they sent cover it. so it's pretty big actually it's almost like the summer package as far as size goes but inside I'm going to take out my card so I don't have to keep, um, here's the card. Um, don't have to keep hiding my army number. <laughs> There's buttons that only come with this. This is a um, luggage tag, I think it was. Oh, um, well, I guess. it's kind. Of, it looks like a luggage tag. Um, an official luggage tag thing whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> then under this, it has a seal, foil stamp seal, and then under that there's a book, kind of like the Japanese ones that I've showed you already. Here's a book, except what's hilarious is um, they list rat monsters um, blood type wrong. <laughs> has a fold out thing on the inside. Um, I think they listed him as O. And even when this first came out, I was like, I already knew what all of their blood types were. Oh, sorry. I was wrong. He's listed as AB <laughs> when he's actually an A. Um, I think that was the only mistake that I could read in English anyway because the book is in Korean because at that time Big Hit did not know how big they were going to be although I could have told them and so there is no Japanese in here because there was no Japanese fan club and um, technically even though this was open to um, people in other countries they made it really hard to get one. I had to have one of my friends, also in my cosplay group, she's our sugar, um, help me to get this. It was a mess. It was really hard because the fan cafe um, was in Korean only. And while I can read Korean, I can't tell you what it actually means. Um, so it made it really hard and to go on there and translate everything. They didn't accept PayPal. There was no official shop or um, whatever that ticket site was that we just went to for the third term. Um, so you had to go to your bank and pay a bank wire fee, which made it cost double. It was literally like 95 bucks for me instead of the 50 that it cost. So here is the second term. Um, and it was just a huge pain. So when they added, how did I open this? Um, when they added the PayPal option and you could purchase through, um, sorry, I know I opened this at one time. I just, almost looks like it's not open. Okay. <laughs> so when they added the PayPal option for second term and you could purchase it through the official shop, I was praising Big Hit for that because they learned. And that made it a lot easier. It was still a pain a little bit, but it was a lot easier. So here's the second one. Let's walk together. I'm still waiting on the third, by the way, in case I mention, um, forget to mention it. I may update 
the stuff that's not in here um, when I get that. So there's a pen and a pouch. I don't think I've ever actually taken that out. Or if I did, I don't remember at this point. So let's see what's in it. Oh, right, this thing. So this is actually really cool. If I was into, like, makeup, it's kind of hard to see. It's embroidered. Or, well, not embroidered, it's stamped. There you go. So if I was actually into makeup and this wasn't so limited, I would love to use this or for school. But I'm not in school anymore. Really cool pouch. And... Oh, I forgot it came with so much stuff. Um, this <laughs> user guide. And it tells you how many people signed up for Army 2. I forget how many were in Army 1. Um, and it has a book with pictures, of course. Stick that back in there. And then it comes with, and I don't feel like pulling it all of this out, sorry. Sleep shade, photo set, mini towel. Um, and I felt like there was something else other than my army card, but maybe um, it was already all under here. Let's see, here's my army card. Oh, it's kind of hard to cover. Well, second term, and it says official, and it has its own number again. <clears throat> and I really love Big Big Hit Finally. It only took them three times. But finally, and I don't know when or how or if this is actually going to happen. Um, technically, we're supposed to be able to get some kind of fan club benefits. Um, when they come to the tour, or at least possibly we might, um, included with Army 3. So hopefully, if you were interested in seeing them this time around you bought the third um, membership that. so that's it for that shelf so i'm going to show you the hip-hop monsters real quick um i'm going to show you this poster so i don't forget real quick and then i will get to what i believe is the last item i haven't shown you yeah okay so i have to go back a little bit so this was um, the highlight tour. I don't know if any of you went to this. I have friends that went to the stops. It was ridiculous. It was messy. It was Nadia from TGM, which is a company that should never ever be within a thousand feet or more, or even in the same country as a um, K-pop group um, or their fans, because they just take advantage. So, but anyway. <laughs> Um, this is one of my most precious possessions. Obviously, I have other BTS signed stuff, but they signed this one for me, in front of me. I literally got to see each one of the members signing and stand in front of them as they did it. So that makes it the most special of my autograph stuff. And then, so I'll just start with Jimin because he's the closest. Um... That whole thing that I was telling you about um, at the beginning about starting with your bias. Well, when these came out, M-Wave was kind of retarded about it. Let me just show you one up close so you can see. If you've never gotten to see it, the box, they're actually really nice. They're foil stamped and they're pretty, um, pretty solid. And I miss anything. They have official numbers on the top, of course. And then on the bottom, there is the official stamp, as usual. So, um, when Emway first released this, it was a mess. They had all seven of them. They were 50 bucks each, I think, with EMS shipping, which was required because they're so heavy. Well, they're, they're heavy, but they're not heavy. Um, it was like $75 a doll. But the way they listed these um, caused me a lot of havoc. I actually knew they were coming out. I guessed correctly that they were going to be like $50 a piece. 
saw I had enough money set aside to buy all of them at one time, but the way that they did it, they did each member as its own listing. So at first I was really confused because I, I had all seven of them in, their, in the cart, but you have to go back one by one and add all seven. So I checked out and through like three or four of them, it's like it's not available. You have to go back. So I go back and they're there. So I add them again, again, XYZ is not available. So finally I was like, whatever, I'll just add four or three or whatever I can get and um, check out and then I'll do another one. And so basically I only ended up with three out of seven um, because I didn't realize that the cart was not going to let me check out because um, things were going in and out of people's carts and stuff. So I wasn't able to get all seven at one time. Um, the original seven, or sorry, the original three <clears throat> that I got were Rat Monster, um, J-Hope, and Jin. So then another thing that they did, um, they messed up um, M-Wave, I think... They either miscalculated shipping or they said shipping was free. I want to say they said shipping was free initially. And then like a few days later or whatever it was, they sent us messages saying you have so many days to pay for shipping on your doll or your order will be canceled. So I was thinking ahead at that point. I'm like, watch there be a whole bunch of these dolls canceled because people didn't have the money or didn't um, do what they were supposed to do, didn't receive their messages, whatever it was going to be. So I messaged M-Wave and I was like, I know there are a bunch of canceled orders. What are you going to do with the ones that got canceled? Do you have any extra? And they said, yes, we actually have extra Jimin left over. And I was like, great. Can you make a listing? Can I purchase one? Had I known at the time, I would have bought more. But um, so they had Jimin. When Jimin was one of the ones that was most canceled, um, I don't remember who else, but I, I guess there were ones I already had. But he was the only one left that I didn't have. So I grabbed Jimin. So technically, by the time I got all of um, my order, I had four of the originals. Then um, next I got. Jungkook. I found Jungkook at um, on eBay and this was before people decided to to charge exorbitant amounts of money for these things. So I was lucky enough to get Jungkook for like 120 bucks which was really not bad. I mean I've seen Jungkook go for seven eight hundred dollars on some sites now um, and the longer it it was after they released it, the harder it was to get them sealed. Um, I don't like to open mine, and actually I accidentally, on this side you can see, I um, knocked it off the shelf one time, and I don't know how, but somehow the plastic ripped, but it's still sealed. Um, so Jungkook was next, and I was lucky to get him for really cheap. I'm not going to tell you how much I paid for some of the other ones because it doesn't matter. But it was more than Jungkook. So, Suga was next after that. Oh, let me get him down. And I got him from Japan. And then... Um, I actually don't think I'm going to take all of these down, but, um, after Suga, I got, let's see, four, six was, um, V. V was the first time that I saw V for sale. He was actually seen to be, um, the most or one of the most popular ones because he was always really hard to find and... And they were asking a whole bunch of money for him. He was like the original one that, that cost a lot of money. Um, but eventually I found one. And he was the last one that I was able to get. 
Um, so now I have all of them. And then they released the small ones on top, which I have all of them. I'm not going to take them down. And then the larger, on the very top, the larger version of the um, plastic figurines, which are also, um, they're all unopened. So, other than the posters, which I don't feel like pulling out, um, the last thing I believe, well, I'll show you these. Um, they're not official or anything, but um, they gave out fan bracelets at the Red Bullet concerts here. Um, I missed the Chicago one. They ran out before I got a chance to go. I'm trying to see, did anything fall? Sometimes stuff falls behind and I, I feel like I'm forgetting to show you something that may have fallen back there. Oh! Look, oh, well, no, that's not official. I don't think it's back there. Oh, no, this is not official. Um, I generally don't buy an official, but I thought it was cute. Just a little um, hand towel that I found. Um, oh, right. So, this. So, again, um, Rat Monster is my ultimate bias. And so this is the most special thing that I have besides my um, autographed highlight poster. Um, M-Wave was doing, and they may still be doing, I don't know, auctions for um, some girls' charity. I can't remember what it was. And they were selling BTS items. Um, from what I remember, they had something from Rat Monster, V, and J-Hope. I don't think I, oh wait, and maybe at one time, I think I saw Jimin's bandana. Um, v had a wood stamp that he made in school with his name on it or something. And J-Hope is crazy about his um, brick bears, bear bricks, whatever you want to call them. Um, the little thing that I showed you wherever I put it. Anyway, <laughs> the little bear brick thing. Um, and I, it was signed by him. And then they had Rap Monster. And I got really lucky. I'm not going to tell you what I paid for it. But it's actually kind of reasonable considering it's a one-of-a-kind item. And it helped a charity. And um, it, it's one-of-a-kind. Yeah. So I made a little display case. Um, the picture that's on the top. Let me show you. So the picture that's on the top was just one of my favorite fan site photos that I found that I wanted to put in the display case. And then what it is, <clears throat> sorry about the reflection, it's kind of hard to see. It's So it's a Jesus piece is what they call it. Um, I don't know if it was Kanye's brand or Kanye just made it famous from wearing it or whatever. But, so it's a wooden necklace with wooden beads um, that's obviously Jesus Christ. Um, and on the back it's signed, and I think if I remember correctly, it also had a little message or something. Um, but he signed it in the marker. And then, <clears throat> so this is another thing um, I'll only show once. I've been keeping this hidden because it's kind of personal to the person who bought this item. I don't remember exactly what it says, but I had my Korean boyfriend at the time translate it. And from what I remember, it says something like, um, he idolizes Kanye West and he spent, he, well, he saved up his money um, for a long time to buy this, which was quite expensive at the time. And that he it was very proud to own it and have it. And that he's very happy to give this up to a good home um, since it's helping a good cause. If it says something that I forgot or I mistranslated, I apologize. I didn't write it down. I just kind of have it in memory. And then again, it's signed. And this, this is what's on the back, too. Um, signed in Rat Monster. So I had this hanging up. I haven't found a place to put it up yet. Yeah, so that's it. Other than the posters, that is everything. Um, um, except for like kind of what I was saying, these crappy frames. Um, the pictures that I had torn out of my extra copy of um, High Cut Magazine that look really pretty. 
and then some stuff that I have on the way. That's all for now. Um, thank you for watching. It. I really didn't think it was going to take two and a half hours to show all this stuff. Excuse me. And I really kind of even didn't even go in depth and show you all of the photos and the magazines and whatnot. But I will try to remember when new stuff comes in to kind of mark it off and make um, a separate video of the new stuff that comes in so you can see it. If you have a question, you have a constructive comment, something I could have done, something I could have done better, something you want to see, something you have a question about, um, please leave it in the box below. There are two other parts to the video because I didn't think it was going to take this long, so I broke it up because... Um, I don't want it to get rejected by YouTube for being too long. So, that's everything. Um, again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this brings you joy. It brings me joy. Um, if you you ever get to know me and you want to come to LA and you want to see something in person, totally cool with that. Um, I think I mentioned in the beginning, um, because I was collecting so much stuff at the beginning, we actually jokingly call this the BTS Museum. It's gotten kind of serious now because there's so much stuff. Um, but I would be happy to show you anything that you would like to see in person as long as you're cool and respectful and I know you well enough to let you in my house. <laughs> but thanks for watching and um, see you soon.